Logos Bible Software is a huge Bible program that has incredible features that allow you to quickly and efficiently study the Bible. For content creators, Christian content creators like myself, it also has features that allow you to share Bible verses. I want to show you the most powerful feature that has saved me so much time when it comes to taking Bible verses from Logos and putting them into other projects. And that feature is the Replace with Passage feature that allows me to paste a Bible verse in any program on my computer with ease. Here I have my mind mapping program, which is essentially a collection of different text fields. What I'm going to do is type in a verse reference. And I don't even need to do the entire verse reference. I can use abbreviations, and instead of a colon, I can just leave a space. Also, I can add a dash if I want to also grab more verses than just one. Now what you do next, and this is the marvelous part, you select it, then you press Shift Command E. And there you go. That Bible reference has been replaced with the full text of the verse, along with the reference and translation reference. All there, and it took a matter of seconds. This is incredibly powerful in saving time. If you're a Christian content creator like myself, putting Bible verses in your videos, in your graphics, in your blog posts, this saves so much time. All you need is to think up and write down the verse reference. Select it, and then type in the key command. And there you go. You have brought God's Word into another program with ease. Now there are a couple limitations to this feature. One, Logos does need to be open. Right now, it's open in the background. And the second one is formatting and changing the translation requires you to go into Logos and to mess around with the settings to be able to change those two features. Let me show you how to set this up because it's most likely not activated by default. Let's start by going to Logos. Now that you're in Logos, go up to the menu bar at the top and select Logos. Go to where it says Services. Now go down to Services Preferences. This will now open the System Preferences program and it will allow you to edit some important settings that allow you to activate this computer-wide key command. It should automatically take you to Services under Shortcuts and now you need to find the key command. It's here by default if you have Logos installed, but it may not be activated. Go under Text, go under Text until you find Replace with Passage Logos and make sure that that is on. Also, you can change the key command if you wish, but the standard key command works very well for me. Once activated, again, you can put in whatever verse reference you want in any program with the text field. Select the verse reference, then press Command Shift E, and you are golden. You will have the full text of the verse replace the verse reference. Now, the question is how do you customize this feature? So, first, open Logos, of course. And first, let's talk about how to adjust the formatting. Go under your tools and type in copy. And then you'll see the copy Bible verses tool. Select it, and it should open as a, a side pane over here. Now there are a few options here that allow you to adjust how it's output. Unfortunately, only one of them applies to the replace with passage key command. And that is the format, and that is the first blue highlighted text here. You can select it. You can select any of these presets. I have a couple custom ones as well. And you can use these different presets to change the formatting, to change how it appears. So as you can see, I changed it to my custom preset, which is called Title Copy with Version. This is what I use for my YouTube videos. 
Now let me show you how it has changed. Now you can see the formatting has changed and I have a different format to the text I've put here. The only thing is the translation is different from the translation I'm using in the copy Bible verses tool. And unfortunately this seems to be an odd quirk of this feature. To change the translation requires you to actually go into logo settings. What you want to do is open your library and that is up there. Now select the ellipsis in the upper right corner. There's only a couple options here and the one you want is prioritize resources. This allows you to rank what resources Logos will prioritize when opening verses and when selecting different versions. Make sure the version you want to use is here. If it's not, get it from over here and simply drag it into that list. Let's move ESV up to the top. So now that's done, close this and let's go back to our other program. And now you see the translation has changed. I wish that they would connect the Bible verse copying tool translation selection and the replace with passage key command, but that's just not how it is. So you have to use this workaround for now. Now I hope you see the power in this key command. It is magnificent, especially if you're a Christian content creator or a Bible study leader who's constantly copying verses to another program, maybe a word program, maybe an outlining program, a video production program, maybe a graphics pro program. Whatever the program is, it is a bit precarious. It is a bit tough to have to go from Logos, which is a bulky program on its own, to another pro program. It tends to stress my computer out, and it's a very slow process to select a verse, then copy it, and then have to move to my other program. It tends to lag on me a little bit. This key command has been a real lifesaver for me, and I hope it will help you be a creator who makes things that praise the Lord and glorify Him with your Bible study videos, with your Bible graphics, or even your Bible studies or blog posts. Bless others with the knowledge of this key command. It is so amazing and has so revolutionized my workflow. And I hope it's blessed you as well. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. Let me know if you want more Logos tutorials. I will gladly provide them. There are tons of bells and whistles that can save time and make studying and learning about the Bible easier. I'm Chase Carrington. Remember to chase the sun with me and become a sun chaser.